Here's one vampire TV series that defies all odds. It's a low-budget, Canadian TV show with no stars, low-rent effects, and which has dated considerably. Yet, despite all that, Forever Night, which aired from 1992 till 1996, is still one of the most beloved and trend-setting cult shows ever to air on TV, with a late 80s, early 90s vibe that is irresistible. Here's the story. An 800-year-old vampire, Nicholas Knight, decides to turn his back on evil and redeem himself by becoming a detective with the Toronto Metro Police. Haunted by his past deeds, thwarted by his mentor and sire La Croix, and constantly fighting his dark nature, Knight struggles through his nocturnal existence while trying to solve murder cases and clean the streets of his city. If the concept sounds familiar, that's because it has been copied ad nauseum, and the series began life in 1989 as a CBS pilot called Nick Knight, starring Rick Springfield as Detective Knight, and which was an entertaining if miscast late 80s TV movie with tons of atmosphere. Forever Knight, despite the aforementioned faults, is a good show, sometimes even a very good show. From the get-go, it's obvious that everyone involved with the show is giving it their all, especially the cast and the writers. The first season gets off to a great start with a fast-paced, atmospheric two-part pilot that sets the tone for the rest of the series. The 20 episodes that follow are filled to the brim with ideas, mood, and good writing, establishing a cast of memorable heroes and villains. The second season is less focused, but more polished, with better production values, more ambitious stories, and some truly outstanding episodes. And it is with this season that the series reaches its peak, with an effective mix of mystery, noir, and supernatural horror. Sadly, things go downhill with the third and final season. Moving to the USA Network, the makers of Forever Night had to accede to the demands of the network, which included removing certain characters, adding others, and cutting the budget down by 15%. The results are disappointing with some episodes in the first half of the season being almost unwatchable. On the plus side, Nigel Bennett, who plays La Croix, gets more screen time, and Bennett, a terrifically charming character actor, makes the most of it. The second half of the season fares a little better, but not enough to wholly redeem it. The final episode, titled Last Night, remains to this day a point of contention among diehard fans because of its overly dark tone needless killing of a number of main characters, and a final shot that is beyond ambiguous. It still packs a punch, but it's a somber, unsatisfying ending to what was once a compelling, ambitious series. Yet, decades later, we're still talking about the show. And that's because, when Forever Night was firing on all cylinders, it was one of the most enjoyable vampire shows ever put on TV.